I'm going to do a real quick video here about the ideal gas law. If you remember from the combined gas law that you have uh, P1 times V1, N1, T1 equals P2, V2, N2, T2. You could keep this going on forever and ever if you wanted to, doing it in a third set of conditions and a fourth and a fifth. Um, but what this says, that they're all equal to each other, is that they're all equal to some constant. That constant is given the symbol R. So R is the, the gas law constant. So that we can write in very generic terms that P times V over N times T equals R. Or, as it's better known, Pivnert. PV equals NRT. R is a constant. It has a number of values, and some of you may have learned more than one value last year. I prefer to just teach one value and then make sure you always put the units in the right units. So the R that I teach is 0.0821 liter atmosphere per mole Kelvin. So that means if you're going to use the ideal gas law, that you make sure that your volume is in liters, that your pressure is in ATM, and as always, that your temperature is in Kelvin. Okay, The ideal gas law is a very, very handy law. We use it very frequently, uh, but that's really all there is to it.